Hey there, how are you? I'm here, I think we're recording, very good. Good, well, let's introduce ourselves. We are the Pointing It Out team. And I'm Melissa McLeod at the Wool and the Floss in Gross Point, Michigan, just outside Detroit. And very you good. are? And I am Megan Holmes. I am here actually specifically at Kirkwood, which is a suburb of St. Louis, Missouri. I'm here at the Needle Point Clubhouse, otherwise known as STL Needle Point. And, um, I'm here with a cricket, so he's introducing himself too. Oh, he's got um, a little driving me crazy. <laughs> it's a little weird. Um, I am not outdoors. I am indoors, <laughs> but you know, um, I have a little special guest. Maybe he'll make an appearance later. Who knows? There you go. Stay tuned. <laughs> That's good. Well, I know we were talking a little bit ago about how the finishing deadline was moved up a little bit this year. It was a little sooner to do that. Everyone, God bless us all, home stitching, doing the right thing, and not being out and about. Right. Um, but I think we both talked about the fact that there's lots of people that are going to come in panicking about, but I wanted to make a gift for Aunt Susie and now the ornament deadline's gone. I think you and I can both still take belts and stockings and pillows. Uh, yep. Belts, stockings and pillows is where I'm at for guarantee. We right. keep telling people we're not closing our doors. Go ahead and send things sure. um, because we have a very safe spot that we keep everything. But, um, and we'll continue to finish, uh, assuming that the finishers can take them. It's just that there's no guarantee for Christmas. So. Right. Yeah. Or Hanukkah, sure frankly, I think Hanukkah is right at the beginning of December. Or maybe it's right. Anyway, Hanukkah or Christmas. Right. <laughs> well, and I think your finishers are the same as ours, where they set their guarantee and they give themselves a little cushion because they don't know if maybe they'll get a terrible case of the flu or, you know, grandma dies and they've got to go take care of whatever, you know, so they give themselves a little cushion because most of them are one man shows. Or one well, yeah, and we're all shows. human. I always say that. And there's a lot of handwork involved. And um, yeah, so it's, um, I think we're comfortable. I think we're in a good spot. But yes, I think that for the most part ornaments for us, I think there's a few other shops out there are, um, we are not guaranteeing anything else. Um, handwork done for by our finisher for the holidays. Yeah. So, so that led us to think, but we have a lot of really great self-finishing items in both of our shops and things that are offered at um, most needlepoint shops, I would say. All of these yeah. are things that they can get, whether they carry them or not. I don't know. <coughs> um, we do. And so we thought we'd offer some options. Yes, yes. Well, good. So, so you first, um, my old owner used to carry the stitch and zips and I kind of passed them by for a little while and then you convinced me that they were a really great thing to bring back in. So uh, based on your recommendation, I did. So I'll let you talk about those. Well, yeah, so um, the stitch and zip, you'll see the, it's, you probably, people have probably seen these before. Um, when I first bought the shop too, I was a little iffy and I love the Alice, and Alice Peterson company. They're a great distributor. They're a great colleague. Um, my fear was the teaching of um, basket weave on these. It's, it's an interlock canvas. I don't know if you right, can see so that you don't see the, the stairs and the poles or the whatever you... Instead of mono, uh-huh, the woven. Um, and, but I will say that when I was first, before I owned, before I was involved in this industry at all, this was my first project. I did it a oh, really? first. Um, I did it all in continental because I didn't understand the uh, right. basket weave. And um, I think it's great. What I love about these for beginning stitchers um, is that they're rather inexpensive. It's a nice way to have an entire kit with instructions and a needle. Um, you can use your kitchen scissors if you have to, just to see if you, if you love needlepoint. Right. Um, but it's a great thing. Um, I think they've done a great job of really, um, I have them all here behind me, of doing just some different and sort of modern, different sort of patterns and, um, do you have this one too? <laughs> I only have four things in my hand. That was the scissor case I grabbed. That's so you know, funny. I think we're out of, we're, we're going to um, reorder here soon, but I think we're out of, they have this new blue leopard pattern that's yeah. super hot and super cool. I love it. Um, a bunch. But this would be a great gift, even if you are a, um, an avid stitcher for like another stitching friend. It's, a, it's rather inexpensive. I mean, I would love it if somebody would stitch me a scissor case because I don't have one. Um, but I think um, you, so I've got this finished piece here. So for those of you who aren't familiar with this, it's, um, it opens all the way up so that you can get your hands in it and do, you know, open this all the way up and do your stitching. This is a finished piece. 
And um, some people stitch this up and then as the title implies, zip it back up and you can use it as your little uh, sunglass case, Great. glasses case. Yeah, and so, you know, you're done. Um, but I think you and I both offer the option in our shops to, um, or people who have a sewing machine or even fabric glue, I know that's a taboo term, but um, throw a little piece of fabric on the back, maybe some felt or, um, but really no one sees it. It kind of seems unnecessary, but if someone's really, you know, kind of fussy and wants it to look a little bit more finished, it's an option. The other thing we've done is add a little snap to the top too, in case you're using readers or something. So, oh, anyway. cute. yeah. Oh, cute. Yeah. yeah. We have, so there's, um, I just brought the options. There's a little coin purse. Huh? Um, and this um, is great. And then the glasses and then this little cosmetic case, um, they call it a cosmetic case, but it's actually big enough to be like a little clutch. Like you could put your iPhone and your wallet and a little bit of money in there if you're, you know, if we ever get to go out again and that's all you need. Well, um, truth be told, I don't care. I don't love to carry like my bag or anything right now. I just want, I like, I'm like constantly using my pockets, but that would be a great idea. Just throw your card, your phone and your keys in there when you're at the store and you've got it all kind of right yes. there. Yeah. So yeah, those are the idea. four like varieties that we carry. I don't know if they have any others, but that's what we have. Is that what you have too? Scissor cases, eyeglass cases. Oh, oh, I will show you one other quick little thing. Sorry. Um, they also have these little ornaments. We're oh, out I haven't seen those. Yeah, super cute. So you can do, you'd have time to do a little Halloween thing, like if you have a Halloween tree. I don't, um, I think that these finish the same way. I should have opened one. Sorry, I've got a little. Um, I don't think it's a zip. But anyway, this is a, another inexpensive way. They also, so we've got a Hanukkah one. We've got some Halloween ones. We've been selling these like crazy. There's a, a several cute um, Christmas ones. So yeah. So well, there's- I know what's going on my list next time I order from Alice. Yeah, they're really cute. Um, and I wish I could just say how they finish up. I have a feeling maybe a little fabric glue because I think it just opens up and then you close it and then you hang it. It's got a little hanger. If you can see there. Well, I don't know if it's going to, I mean, fabric glue or a little hand stitching, you know, just a little. Oh, sure. Like a smaller needle, a size 24 or something and some, yeah, little some, back some, stitch. some floss. Yeah. So yes, that's, I forgot about that. That's a yeah. great. Well, along those lines, the other thing that we carry ornament wise, and I think you have these too, are these little Patricia sewn. Um, yes. I had a, I had the box here. What'd I do with it? So um, I have the box. The case. There you go. I just wanted to show people. So yeah, so you have like the seasonal ones. I think I mainly just have Christmas ones. So I have these two and I had a really cute, two really cute ones out on purpose because the frames were different than these because the frames change up. But they're yes. just a little two by two canvas. That's a red one. Yep. And they're two by two canvas. It does have instructions in there too. Um, it does not include threads, but... Um, if you've got a stash, these are great. The other thread that you and I both carry that I think would be great to use on these is the essentials because there's only 10 yards on the card. So you're not spending a ton of money on the threads if you only need a couple colors. And most of these only have like two or three colors in them. Yeah, and then whatever background you want. So yeah, I, um, I love the, I'm with you on the little, I love the hangers for the, for the tree. But right. I also picture these, I, I did one that has a little angel like for a friend who lost someone and you could stick it like, it, it, like in your bathroom or you know right. on a little shelf in your kitchen to remember someone or sure. they're really cute designs and yeah they're it's a great little I think so tell me if I'm wrong but a holiday collection are the ones that have the hanger for correct parents, and then the, the like regular or the unidentified I guess is just right. a little, um kick out uh picture frame does yeah. this, this this doesn't have a an easel back does it no does they it? don't because um Oh, then no, that's a stupid, never mind. Excuse me. So no, no, they're just flat on the back. Got it. Yeah. But okay. They technically so. could, you know, if you really wanted to, you could hang it because it's got one of those little, little loopies. Oh loop. yeah. So you could like do a little yeah. tack and hang it. So if you really wanted to hang it at some point, you could cut off this and hang it, you know? So these were, I should just show people since it's, it is, this is all about self-finishing. <laughs> this just pops open. Sorry, like that. She includes this little foam, and all we did was cut that, cut the canvas, which you know comes in. The, you showed the canvas in the box, so it's a little bit bigger. You cut the canvas to within two threads. You yep. stuff it in there. You stuff the little provided foam in there. 
clothes are up. And I think when I did mine, I had it stitched and done in two hours. I think it took me almost longer to pick out the threads I was using because my stash wasn't quite organized that day. So, yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. I love those. Yeah, that's a, that was a great segue. Yeah, yeah. So then we also, along the lines of like framed and kitted stuff, we have some of these Pippin. They call these, there's some that are called first stitch and some that are called PDQ for, I always think pretty darn quick, but they're actually <laughs> darn quick. But um, what, is, they, what do they call them? You say pretty darn quick, but what do they call it? Pippin darn quick, because they're by the Pippin designers. So, <laughs> right. But they're really cute because they come with um, the canvas and then a little frame. Well, you can see it better on the back. And then all the threads. So this is a great gift item if you, know, you have someone who may be used to stitch and is dabbling with wanting to go back to it because it's just one and done. And then the ones that I think are called first stitch are mainly called first stitch because they come on the larger mesh size. Oh, and maybe the the um, patterns are a little more juvenile. Like, are they intended for kids? I, well, I had a couple of those. We sold them, and I have not brought them back in. So I. Yeah, well, but see, like, I don't think this is kiddish looking. No, I mean, that's darling. That would just be a great thing for someone who, um, like you said, just wants to get back started again. Or um, yeah, like we had yeah. a really cute sailboat one because we're a nautical, and someone like bought it for their mom who's like in her 70s and hadn't stitched in a while and her mm -hmm. eyes aren't as great as they used to be kind of thing. So, and those have thread in them too, correct? They have everything you need. An instruction sheet, colorful frame, threads, a needle, and the thing. So this is grab and go. You're done. And it cut, you cut and put the, that baby in there just like you yep. do the... Um, yep. Very good. And then I have one other framed item. I don't know if you have any of these, uh, but the, Mindy... These we, um, they're, the packaging wasn't great, so we kind of packaged them ourselves. But it's just like a little, a a little white piece, piece of paper I said I had. Um, I'm going to use this. Here we go. Um, so they're just like little seasonal things, but then they come with this really pretty frame. Oh, nice. So no, um, and this frame stands, yes. So no threads in these, but we have a few of those as well, um, three or four of those. You know, to that point, um, so really quick. So this is what we carry in the line of like the kids, like what you're saying, and it does come with thread. Um, but to the point with the mini piece and with these, um, you could finish it, you could trim it and or not trim it, take it to your local craft store and see if you can find a frame that you can bop it in there and get a piece of felt, like those, what, 60 cent, or I don't even know if it's that much, and and cut it to fit and pop it in there. And um, and that would be a great way to finish too. And I think these are fun, these little kids. We've got more masculine and more feminine. These are more child-like. Yeah, those are intended for, yeah, we have those as well. And they're great for a kid who wants to make something maybe for grandma for Christmas. Well, that's what I was gonna say. So right now we're all trying to find things for our kids to do. Mine are a little young yet. They're, they're both working on these, but yeah. We're not quite to basket weave yet. Let's what, what do you think? Like, but anyway, I think it'd be so sweet for someone to make this for grandma, for their aunt, for their godparent, whatever it is. Um, I Claire is seven, and she just doesn't isn't frankly doesn't have the attention span. My little guy is five, and he has the attention span, but he just doesn't have the dexterity the yet. skills. Yeah, yeah, but um. Yeah, I think I think eight or nine is sort of the the, the perfect age to get a kid going. And this has um, a, a plastic needle, <laughs> which is good because they get lost around the house, and um, and instructions. So right. yeah, yeah, so that that's just to the point of both kitted with yarn and um, the op the ability to take something like what you showed with Mindy. It's nice to be able to grab and go, but you could also do anything, any project use a little felt and put it in it's I would not say that that's archival or um you know if you're going to work on a big piece you don't want to just go and get an off-the-shelf frame you want to get it right. framed by by a great framer who can do the blocking etc but um for a small piece and for a gift I think it's for sure for sure um so other something else that you led me on to um because Gosh, i didn't know that i was just such a so instructional to you well because this is a huge st louis thing like oh so big we sell these, thing. but yeah. we don't sell these like you sell these but i, I think, think these are like awesome. so you show off yours and i'll show you what i so, did with ours on my end well so i i actually um asked my mother-in-law if i could borrow hers this morning um because well 
bless my voice, to be honest, it's early this morning. Um, but anyway, so these key fobs, we have them in four colors. They come in um, dark brown, a color that they call wine, which I used to know as like Cordovan, like penny loafer color, um, black and tan, which is this one. Um, they open up, they've got a little piece of um, canvas. And I, I used to buy these like crazy and, and personalize them. So Noni is grandma at our house. Um, you could put stitch, you could put, I mean, we do all kinds of things and you could, we have a chart for uh, three letter um, right. initials that we, we either give away or we um, put those in gratis for our customers. Um, but yeah, this takes like two hours, maybe, if yeah. you're focused. Um, I sold a ton of those last year um, for Mother's Day and Father's Day, because people were like, Ugh, it's next weekend. I'm like, I gotcha. Right. Um, we do two things with these. So a lot of people, the girls around here, which I think is such a cute thing, they write little notes on here. Oh. Their like on their 16th birthday, it's a big thing for a friend, somebody to say, oh, who's going to make the keychain? And then they write a little note in here, and then this just snaps. Um, and these get better with time, I have to say. They're a little stiff when you first get them, but this one is so nicely worn in the leather. It's such nice leather. Um, the other thing we do, though, also, is we put a little bit of that, um, I never get the number right, E6000, E3000, E8000, whatever. 6000. Lay a little bit of that in there, just a smooth layer, and then um, set a book on it and let it so that it doesn't open. Because some people don't want it to open. But some you know people so Liz made this for her mother, and her mother loves that it opens, because you know what she does? Does she put it on the strap of her purse? She puts it on the strap of her purse, because she says she's yep. always losing her keys in the bottom of her bag. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's brilliant. I yep. would never have thought of that. So we sell those blank by the truckload, but we also customize and sell them as kits. Um, and so we, um, we stock a good number of these. We do local colleges. There's a lot of Dayton people here. We do local high schools. We do... Um, a St. Louis skyline. We do all kinds of different things that we just have on the shelf that you can grab. Um, we just use pearl cotton for these because. Oh, so that's the thread that you're going to stitch with attached to it. Very clever. Exactly right. It's, it's the colors attached. So you Got can just it. grab this for a little bit more than the, than the um, base price. We right. stick a needle in there and then you're ready to go. And then really in a couple of hours, it's all, all set. That's um, clever. We can also have them painted custom, but um, yeah, but from a kitted perspective, this right. is. A good thing. Well, this is the one I made for my mother-in-law. I um, then made another one for the shop. So it's just a little bar yellow print, but we're like kind of a big lily color kind of community. So I yeah. it was just a little bar yellow. So that stitched up in a nanosecond and I had fun doing it. So, that. you know, I will tell you, I hope you get a run on those because the red, don't you have red and white? And I blue? do have red and white and navy. I think the distributor on those is, so get them while they're hot. Yeah, yeah. I'm a floss because we only have the um, kind of the darker the traditional leather. colors. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ah, well, that's good yeah. to know. But Those are good ones. Yeah. Um, so should we talk about boxes and stuff next? Well, first, let's not forget about these little guys. <gasps> oh, I did forget about those. Those poor little lonely guys. So this reminds me a little bit. I of, think I told you about these. You 100 <laughs> percent. And these are from a sweet, sweet lady, Anne Brinkley. I just want to hug her. She's so cute. Um, she, I have right back behind me an assortment. I think you probably have an assortment yeah. too. And by the way, I do not have that gingham one. What the heck? With a ladybug, no less. That's why I had to show it because I'm like, if you don't have one after you did your ladybug thing, I thought of you. So cute. And ladybugs, you know, are um, good luck too. I know. But so these come in all, an assortment of different um, patterns. I've even got like a little, did she give you this? Like the little, like all of the little things you can order, the whole yeah. book of them. Um, but I bought a bunch of the blank ones because, because um, well, why not? But last year I wanted to stitch something quickly for my kiddos, which they, it's like, how do they say that? Like the cobbler's kids have holes in their shoes or whatever. Right, right. Um, the camera has no trees. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I used one of the blank ones, used some stash threads, and just threw on a little monogram for Ward. And um, it was so easy and so fast. And he thought he was so fancy with this cool bookmark. Um, right, what's his name? Well, he's Howard Thomas Holmes, but we call him Ward. Ward is short. Howard. Howard. Oh, got it. <laughs> I never knew that. Yep. He's Wardy, but he's HTH. So okay. anyway, so, so it's confusing. <laughs> 
And then anyone with it, we finish them for people if they want. I mean, I think you actually, I think you told me this, just zip it with the sewing machine closed because yeah, the yeah. top opens. Um, yeah, they yeah. flip. But they're super easy to stitch and they're really fun and the opportunities are endless on these little guys. Sure. I don't know. Yeah. I just, yeah. It's just a little bit of ultra suede is really all it is, yeah. right? And they're very affordable and a quick and easy gift and yeah. Yeah, and I love that ladybug one. I'm gonna have to order that. Maybe I'll send it your way. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Okay. okay, so are we down to, yeah. Are we down to the boxes go, in the- to Go to the boxes? Or leather. Let's, let's do the boxes first since I have a little experiment. We're gonna, we're gonna experiment okay. live and see what happens. An on-screen live demo. Yeah, I like it. So this so. whole series of things um, are, and I've showed this before, um, I don't know, I'm pointing it out if I have, but this is one of the Beth Gantz rounds and it's a four inch opening and you stitch it and you cut. There's a little, um, I've shared her video on my Facebook page and you should probably do that if you have not, because I know that you have these in order. But Beth has a little video on a how-to, which is all of like 60 seconds maybe. Is it Um. I don't know, it was on her Facebook page and then I shared it to my Facebook page and I don't really know what its initial platform was. But um, basically you're gonna take a, a round ornament that you've stitched and cut within two threads around the ornament and you just tuck it into the frame. I put a little felt in here to make it poofy mm -hmm. um, and she's got some that stand up. So these little legs go in the back and it also still has the little hole so you can create your own hanger. Um, I will tell you that one of the hardest things was finding ribbon that, um, I'll use a very technical term, was mushable <laughs> and would go through the hole. So this is one of those silky ribbons, um, which normally on regular ornaments are not my favorite. I'd rather have something with a little more heft to it. Um, but for this, you want something that's really pliable so that you can stick it through that little tiny hole. And then I just added this cute little bead. Um, and there's felt in there. So the these can stand or hang. So yes, I do have some of these on over because Melissa told me to. In fact, I met Beth, really sweet, sweet, smart gal, this awesome. company, darling. And um, at Nat in Nashville, the last market we went to, and I, you know, I'd kind of forgotten about them. Melissa says, order these things. I'm like, oh yeah. So I tried to finish mine myself. Disaster. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why. So <laughs> Melissa, um, is going to, so she, as you say, we cut two yes. threads around. You said that was the first step. Oh no, my friend, it's measuring. It's measuring before you stitch. Because I went home and did, I was like on a mission. I'm like, this weekend, I'm gonna stitch this. I'm gonna make one for Claire because they don't have any, my kids have no ornaments. Yes, also mom fail. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly stitch this. So I go to the wall, I find a 13 count, I pull it off, I get home, I'm super excited. I've created this, what I think is just absolutely darling. I put it is darling. In. Hey, guess what? Four and a half inches. Yeah, measure first. You gotta plan ahead. <laughs> Doesn't fit. Doesn't. <laughs> and for the record, there are very few, excuse me, there's very few four and a half inch ornaments in the so world. So I would be the one that would pick it up, right? So now what I'm doing is waiting for, I've ordered from Beth because she has four inch and five inch. Correct. Ornaments. Four inch and five inch square. Correct, yep, I have the, the square one here. And again, a little hole, but these could also be great for coasters. That's what I was gonna say, that's why I ordered those too. Yeah. Measure, measure, measure things because it is super simple. And I even took Melissa's advice. I cut the felt. It's all here. I was so frustrated. I had one of my employees and we're like, oh, oh. well, it doesn't fit because the, the thread is too thick up against the edge. Disaster. So I'm now waiting for my five inch and praying that it fits in there. So the other it's thing that I have, oh, well, she also, I should just show these off too. She has these cute little magnetized boxes. I don't know if you ordered any of these. I um, that is this cute. has a smaller opening. So this is really probably better to design something yourself because there's not that many things that fit in it. She has a series of round single ornaments. Um, 
like I had a Chevron with a K, but someone actually bought it, but it only has a two and a half inch opening. But it is a cute little box and it's great for, oops, you know, there's a, I have them in black and white. I don't know what other colors she has, but you know, it's really cute. Really cute. Um, and like this cute little, this is a Kelly Clark piece would be darling in it. it. And that's the right size for that? This is actually, this is three inches, but some three inch ornaments you can get away with that. Uh, word, word to the wise. Yeah. Don't stitch on the window. Yes. <laughs> so that's a little box that I have. Um, yeah. so I think that's all the Beth Gantz things I have. And I think the squares come standing or hanging. Yeah. So I ordered a couple of both because I just wanted to see. Um, yeah. I think the hangers are a little less expensive than the easel back. They are. So I just thought we'd just test them out. Right, right. The yet. other thing that I have are these little boxes and I'm kind of forging ahead to this because these are just little wood treasure boxes. They're lined in velvet. I think they're absolutely darling. And this, I believe, is a three and a half inch opening. Um, and they do come with glass. I've already taken the glass out of this one because I actually don't like glass over my needle point, but that's a personal, you know, taste. So this one comes with a little poofy piece of whatever. Okay, so, so my, I'm going to interrupt you because I feel like because of my error and your success, I want to, I want to join forces. So would you say if you took that piece right there that's in your hand that came with and set that on the unstitched... Like in other words, how do I make sure that I'm choosing the correct? That's exactly now, what I was about to do. So okay, this, okay. I think you can see, matches up perfectly. Yep. So it would be a good idea because I think what um, what you're getting at, and or at least what I feel like you're getting at here, is that there are a lot of options for lots of different sizes. Yeah. So that yarn tree, I think, is that where that box is? It is. Okay. And then like if so, this is the little liner they include with it. Mm -hmm. Um, and then this is the backing, which I don't know if you can see that, but it's a hair bigger. Bigger, That's yes. That's what you want because there's my two canvas threads right there. Does that make so sense? So I think with these Beth Gans pieces, I could be wrong. But again, I think this back piece right. is what that's, you the, want. that's what you want, exactly. Because my stitching is a little, I don't know how well you can see that, but you see how my stitching is, because I, I, frankly, I, massacred this thing <laughs> so i did not leave quite enough camp i, I like because chopped you were getting frustrated because it wasn't fitting and you thought oh i didn't cut enough but you did you just picked the wrong piece i'm 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 blatantly sharing how foolish i was so that no one else makes this mistake well yeah we all learn from our mistakes or our friends mistakes so those little boxes also come in like an ivory color and a wood grain color. That's those are really color. pretty. I don't have those. I like those a lot. Yeah, I, I sell a do lot. They, of are they just are they um, hinged or because the, the other ones were magnetic, right? That's cute. So um, I know you carry a lot of these, and I'm low on stock. But so last year, same since I don't give my kids um, ornaments, or I hadn't. I got this little box from Sudbury, which is where you well, get all a whole collection things. of that over here too. We'll talk about that too. So, but while, uh, while you're cutting, I want to just go back to the point that Is you made. Is this going to make most people go crazy when they see me go chop, chop, chop? The first time I cut a canvas, it made me crazy. Also use dull scissors because it will dull your scissors, so that starchy. Oh. Okay. And I cut big and then I cut smaller because this big hunker gets in the way. Yeah. So anyway, so you go ahead and talk while I... Well, all I was going to say at the point you made earlier. So first of all, this has glass on it. And I agree with you that I don't love to put my needlework behind glass or, or plexiglass or any of those things. But this was for my daughter. This is a tiny little box. And um, my daughter is seven. And uh, so I wanted to keep it clean because I was just noticing there's like marker or something on here. But I'm sure a little... Uh, a little wipe will take that off. But anyway, so that's why I decided to keep that on there. Um, and I designed this little thing myself. So what you were saying, I think is true. I just- Good, clever just, girl, good job. Like crown with a C. Um, but we could have our painter make little, I should have measured this, but I wanna say this is like a one and a half. Yeah, those square, are small. Two square, something. Um, but what I loved about this, so my daughter wears hearing aids. And so we're always trying to get her to put them in the right spot so that they don't get lost. So this sits next to her bed and she puts her hearing aids in here. And then, but I was picturing this would be sweet, like with a diamond or a, a ring for like 
newly engaged person that is trying to get used to taking their rings off and like having this. I also think, I thought about this this morning, this would make a really cute tooth fairy box. So we could do like a little initial, we could do a little tooth, we could do a crown for, or a fairy thing. Um, I just think, uh, because I don't know if any of you are like me, but all of a sudden my daughter had a loose tooth and I was like, oh dang, we don't have any kind of like a thing for, for the tooth fairy. This wouldn't take very long and it would be really sweet and it's lined in. So you could set it under the um, pillow or next to the bed or whatever. So I love this tiny little box. So I should have had you time that. Oh, you're already done. What? Well, this is that Rachel Donnelly, and I think you have a bunch of these too that come with a little chart. That, so I didn't magically chart my initials because your crown amazes me because I would have, I guess I could have figured that out. But anyways, that's how long this took. Done. What? Okay, so wait a minute. Reverse. So open that up. So you cut up to the second canvas thread. Hold on, we'll, we'll back up. So yeah, so I you just secretly tried. did that. You were you were doing that in secret to make sure it worked before you showed it off to us. I well, know. I was a little nervous, but it's perfect. So I would have, but you know. So yeah, so I left it about about two canvas threads. So I cut the big the big hunker off first, and then I cut closer. Yep. And then the trickiest part is making sure it's straight in here. But I just lined it up. Oh sure. Yep. And then popped this little guy in that they gave. Um, you know, to be honest, if if I really wanted to, I'd probably put some felt in here. I feel like that that is that stuff that they put with pictures that breaks down after a while, you know? And then you just put the back in and flip the little legs back. Oh, wow. And there you go. So oh, oh, cute. I know most of these self-finishing things are really that simple, you know, as long as you've planned ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> So yeah. yeah, so super gratifying and what better gift, right? That's darling. That would be really cute in a foyer or with your, for your keys or yeah, there's a lot of cute things you could do with that. That's a cute design. And we do, Rachel has a ton of those, a whole series of them and I love them. Yeah, I've got a bunch in stock because I think they're great too. So yeah. Okay. What's next on our, now that I've, I had my big reveal, that was exciting. because That was awesome and it worked. So, so, so yeah. Cute. So I think the, if, from my notes and from my knowledge, um, the one thing that we haven't talked about that we both carry is all the leather products. Yeah, but can I just show this for one second? See some of these Patricia Sewn ones, look at how cute that little frame is that's in here. So all the frames are different. So anyway, I found them. I told you I had them sitting here, but. Yeah, yeah I gotcha. So there are leather goods that we carry from at least two different companies. Um, and we have them. We love them. We have them by the truckload. Um, I just got a whole new um, batch of the round. Oh, um, we're talking about those. Okay, got it. Yep. Are you good with that luggage tag? Yep. yep. Um, there's all different colors. Mm -hmm. And these are all self-finished. Um, I think both, well, I know that both the ones from this distributor and the, the square ones from the other distributor all have this um, sticky stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to say, and I thought it was an pad. adhesive tab, whatever. So um, somebody said to me the other day, like, how do I make sure that my piece is going to fit? They did not know that I had my um, traumatic experience. Do I take this off? And I was like, no, no, don't take it off, because this is sticky underneath, and you, don't, and you want that to remain sticky until you're about exactly ready to put right. those things in. What um, I love is we, I, there's a ton of like super duper cute rounds. I think, did you just hold this exact piece up? Um, no, but I have that piece for the um, er, jewelry box, which we'll get to. Oh, because wow. So we have it in two No, of course I had to have it because it has a B it's on it. Bee, and I know, I know. It's really <laughs> But so what I love about these is um, the one side has, all the pertinent information for your bag. And then the other side has the um, spot for the perfectly fitting round. Yes. Um, what this company does is they do send you in this little handy dandy whoops box. They do send the, uh, sorry, I dropped the, they send a little bit of plexiglass or well, I don't know what you want to call this plastic to protect the needle point. Um, that's a personal preference. I don't think it has to be used. Um, I always tell people it's good to use if you're going to check your bag and maybe I wouldn't use it if I were in charge of my bag. Truth. Truth. So, um, 
so yeah, so we have a ton of those. And then we also have um, from the same company, a larger circle, where are those at? This size, which we kind of packaged together because the stuff all kind of, the instructions and everything kind of come apart. Right. But anyway, this is the larger and this can be used as a coaster. I just ordered some of those too. Those are super yeah, great. we love them. Um, now they're four packing. inch round. Uh, thank you, because I was like, I don't have a tape measure here. I think these are the four inch. They are, because I, I, so I just ordered them because I thought, oh, this is going to be really handy, because I would say 90% of the round ornaments in the shop are four inches. Uh, agreed, agreed, except for the one that's on 13 count that was four and a half, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to live that down ever, or I'm not going to let myself live that down. Yeah, so that's all I'm you, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, but... So I guess I don't know where to go from here. Should so we? I've got a few more Lee Leather good stuff though. Um, so you brought up that B one. I said those are the jewelry boxes. So these are the jewelry oh, boxes. And yes. I made yes. my daughter and I'll show you the inside because I think the inside is just a beautiful design. So there's all the compartments, spots for your rings. Yep. And this side opens up and has a few more compartments in this. Oh, I love it. I think I made this because I did um, this design for a class, gosh, five years ago or so. Go back to that. It has two sides? You'd never do that? No. Yeah, the side opens up and it holds all this other stuff. Ew. I thought you were saying stop it because it had the cover. I'm like, uh, yeah. No, but when you just held up the plastic thing, you just chose not to put that in the top. I think I made this for everyone be when I did the thing. I don't think it comes with that. I can't really remember, although I can, I've I got don't know one. Because the round, these rounds that we just got in all have the. Well, maybe it does. I but I made this for a class, so I had everyone just put initials on here and taught them a few stitches. And oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah that's perfect. Each of these for my daughters. Um, so then I think that size fits into, doesn't it fit into these? Um, I don't know, because that was just plain canvas, but I've got more, let, let's finish, if you don't mind. I'm oh, boxes, sorry, we're getting back. Sorry. Yep. Yeah, I don't think that these come with that uh, acrylic piece, just, just so people know, because this is a brand new one and it doesn't have it in it. So I think I made those for my class people, because people wanted them. Um, we have a couple of these cosmetic bags, same yep. company. So I have the silk ones. The silk ones are really pretty. This is like that rose gold, and um, I just thought it was kind of fashion forward. And, and the insides of these are super nice. There are pockets in there, and it's vinyl, so it's going to stay clean. Yeah. So this kind of has that cosmetic bag, if you will, like that. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I call it vinyl, but it's not really vinyl, but it's cleanable, I guess. This isn't vinyl, but yeah, it's cleanable. And then yep. we um, also carry some of these snap trays, and these are great men, men gifts. Mm -hmm. I think this is three inch. Most people have just designed their own. I do have some canvases that go in there, but a lot of times it's just a single initial. And then I sell a ton of these four inch ones. Oh, um, yeah. And okay. these only come in three colors. They come in like a, a really pretty like tealy, aqua-y blue, but I don't really carry those because it's an unusual color. Yeah. Um, and I sell these more for men gifts, but I thought this was fun to do for holding my stitching stuff. Like to put on a nightstand to throw their watch right. or their cell phone. Or well, I help a lot of people do like monograms and then they do like a plaid. Well, I do. Yeah. And that's, you think that's a four inch or that's a three inch? This too. is four inch for that sure. Is, oh yeah. Because of the stitch club piece. Yeah. Yes, yes. And then it comes in a dove gray. So we carry a oh. lot of these. Um, and then the other thing that I love from Lee Leather Goods, ah, I just dropped jewelry box. Um, this I have kitted together. Um, ah, sorry. That's all right. They make these cute little um, mirrors for your purse. Oh, the mirror. Yes, yes, yes. And then this one I did bring in with a kit with little makeup on it, which is so cute. So anyway, now, um, I think that's one, all my Lee Leather Goods. Do you have any other Lee Leather Goods? Um, not at the moment. No, but the one thing I wanted to say about those is, so if, when you pull that cosmetic case out. Oh, I know what you're talking about, the line, right? Uh, it's line a little important. bit frustrating to push those in. And I, so I just got some canvases from Lee. Well, is it frustrating because people are ignoring the line? Well, that's what I was just going to say. Yes. So you see the line that they draw on there? Yes. Yes. And again, that works 
because um, when you have thread in there, it's much harder to get that shoved up yeah. underneath that. it's flat on the top. Right. So you have to mimic the flatness, otherwise it's, it's gonna be like your other piece. You're not gonna, it's not gonna work. Right, and that's what I was gonna say. So you could use any three, it, I, what you said I think is true, which is this is a three inch, this, am yeah. I, Anyway, you could use any three inch round. You could make your own three inch round, but just be mindful that you don't want to stitch above that line so that it fits right. in there nicely. Because let's be honest, um, we're talking about self finishing. Majority of these are rather easy, but it's it does take a little bit of finesse. So you know, get what I do. I pull off that adhesive. I set it directly in the center, and then I kind of I use this great little flat staple puller that's. Um, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Dull on the end, like like a, like a um, like the end of a butter knife maybe might work. Anyway, just to kind of like get in there, push the leather up, and like like kind of nudge and flatten and to get under through. this little lip. Right? Exactly. Yeah, you, but you don't want something sharp because you don't want to like cut your needle point or cut. So you just need to have like a dull. Um, what works great are those. I'm not a golfer, but those little divot tools that um, oh yeah. are flat and you can kind of so or the the uh, the, the flat end of a, of a butter knife or you know there's a lot of things you can do but um it's it's easy if you take a deep breath and measure right and have you know and just know in advance um we end up helping people fix those up a lot at least for the first time or at least kind of show them how the edge yeah. nudges up a little bit just to yeah we've i've got a gal in here that will finish the self-finishing items like you know, in under two weeks for a very nominal fee for right. who don't want to fuss with it. But honestly, once you do it the first time, it's not yeah. hard after that. It's just a little yeah. scary, just like with many other things in life. The first time's a little scary. So. Well, just like cutting, just like, oh, I don't want to cut the needlepoint canvas, but I mean, yeah, once you do it, it's not that big of a deal. So. Right, right. Yeah. No, I'm okay. looking. So that's, okay. that was the Lee stuff. Yep. And should we move on to Planet Earth? Yeah, sure. Okay. Do you, did you um, do you have the little key fobs that they do? I do. I do. These little guys. Um, and now I just learned that they're they have new colors. Yes, they have red. And I'll pull it out of here so you can see it a little better. Which I need to order. And yep. you know what's cool about now? Does that one have the two options on it? Red and navy. Yep. The, the little one. lobster. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So you could put your keys on this part and then hook it to your purse, or you could put your keys that, you know, you trade back and forth, like the cottage key that I'm always giving to my kids. Yeah. Smart. Very smart. I like that. And there, so yeah, we already have that in black at the moment, but I'm planning to order more. And yeah, then I just got the red in the navy, so they're, they're in stock, so grab them. She also does these cute little... Um, uh, canvases that fit exactly in there. We have the a baseball. Is cute. We've got a little wine glass, which I think is cute. Um, they're kitted. Let's see. She's got a little. Oh, you know what? These have thread in them. Yeah. Hello. I have the uh, the beer mug. <laughs> you oh, have the wine glass, that. and I have the beer mug. Smart. Yeah, That's they have, for us. They have the needle thread and everything. But I only have a couple of those. I need to add some more of those. Is that kitted with essentials? Yeah. It's on an essentials card. It okay. It is. Yeah, so we need to, um, I have in the back of my mind wanting to do some local kind of little things on there, but I just haven't gotten that with an STL or something. And I've got a couple of these little ones from... Um, okay, Kate Dickerson. Dickerson. We had some of those. We must have sold them. We had a little B. Do you have the B? Uh, I've just reordered the B. They're out of stock, just so you know, because I have a customer, but look at that cute little pink elephant, or that is elephant just... on pink. Yeah, so these yeah. are kind of fun too. Yeah. Um, but it's super easy just to do like a single initial in there. You don't even have to you know, buy a canvas, you could. Or stripes, or right, anything, you know, gingham, you know. Gingham, always gingham. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's the tiniest of the planet Earth yes. pieces, I would say. And then what do you have up next? Um, well, let's keep moving up in sizes. So we have, um, and I'm sure you do too, because you talked about these little luggage tags. Yep. Um, yeah. What one of my customers Bye. She loves these, and um, I have a lot of the Colors of Praise ones. Um, oh, you know, like this little guy behind you. They're so cute. Oh, cute. But she likes to um, put them on, as a hanger on her purse, like just like kind of to decorate oh. her purse. And so cute. she was, and I was like, oh, I wouldn't have thought of that. And she like walks in, probably displaying her little. Sorry, I'm trying to show you something you can't see it, but no, it's on her purse. It's just hanging off the side of her yeah. purse. It's super yeah. cute. 
So what a great idea. Yeah, I love that. That's a cute idea. So um, these come in great colors. I've got orange, black, red, pink. Um, I guess we're out of the lime green. I think they said. Right. Well, and it's funny because guess what I have? Um, lime green, green and aqua. Oh, right. Well, I'm out of those two. So very good. So then the same size, um, but without the hanger, is the little um, card case. Business card, oh, yeah. credit card. You have that one? Yep, I've got that. And then I have the bigger one, too. Yes, me too. So, um, and there are some canvases. We've done um, a couple, like, we're into the Fleur de Lis around here. Of course, cute. Um, but there's some, um, oh my gosh. Penny McLeod has a few that fit in there. Right, right. This is a lead. I think you'd have to finesse that just a little bit. I think it's too big. Right. But that it goes in the jewelry box. The jewelry box. Yep, yep. But um, you know what else we've put in these is, and I didn't pull any over, um, the wider cuff bracelets. You know how I sell a ton of those colors? Yes, uh, colors of bracelets cuff, too. Yeah, the wider cuff bracelet fits yes. in. Yes. So great idea. Yeah, we, yes. And, and, and to that point, you could even take like a belt strip and add some rows and it would probably fit in there too and do a couple of them. I don't know. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, and then um, the coasters are super cute. So, you know, I don't have any of her coaster sets. I have, um, so they're, ah, pull this out. So they're just the sticky back and they're a three inch square. Um, so, you know, like these cute little guys would look yes, like yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of people, again, design their own thing to go in here, but we have some things. I've got a couple sets of the red ones, which for a while were kaput because I have those darling Beth Gantz, Noel, the oh, so doing holiday Noel. coasters. What a great idea. Yeah. So yeah, the, I've got a couple of those. So, um, and I also yeah. think it would be nice to buy one set of coasters and be able to gift you don't have to gift somebody four coasters. Like if they right. just have a spot where they sit that you know and they want a little coaster or next right. to their pad or whatever, I think that would be a cute. Or a college right. kid if you had right. like, if you wanted to send like four different gifts to four different college kids or something, I, I think that'd be sweet. Yeah. So. Um, and then I know I've seen the pile of uh, awesome travel jewelry oh, yeah. that they do. And I right. made this one for my mom and- Oh, um, pretty. Yeah, we've got blue and red and those are great. So this happens to be uh, two sisters, I think. And they've got a few different blanks in the background that like choices and then they'll hand paint your initials on there for you. So um, that so, would be very doable before Christmas. This is SCT, so we could add a- That one too, yeah, I love that one. And then this is a Penny McLeod, I think. Cute. So yeah, there's a lot of, oh, and then this, you could add a, where did I get this? Oh, uh, that's okay. I'll show you one of my favorite combinations. That sounds cute, and I love it. Mm -hmm. You'll be surprised that one of my favorite combinations is the Ann Fisher. Beer. Yes, the Ann Fisher. She has some great ones too. I need so, to reorder those. Yeah, those and are. And this is on 13 mesh too, so. Oh, nice. Yeah, and it yeah. has a B. Eight feet. Yeah. Oh, sweet. You know, and those little Pippin squares that you were, I think those might fit in there. There's a lot of different oh. things as I'm just kind of looking yeah. at. Three inch, any three inch, three inch square will pop in those. Um, yeah, and I, that would be so sweet if you were gifting some jewelry to someone for the holidays and could put that in there. That would be awesome. Yes. Um, any other Lee Leatherhood, or sorry, Planet Earth? Well, stuff? Planet Earth also has the big round. Oh, yeah, I'm out of those right now, too. I love those. Um, this is great. I love the lining with the stripes. It comes with a little kind of special bag. And then this is just, um, there's no kind of like specialty compartments, which I love because, you know, me and my big earrings, there's, you know, you don't have to have like just the little tiny compartments. You can just either throw things in there or use right. this. I would probably put my like extra special things just to make sure they were all in one spot, my rings or whatever. And then um, everything goes in, which I, I just love the stripe on these. It's yeah, the insides are super cute. For so sure. let's see, I have, I think they come in, they come in this really pretty blue. And that then these, as you called it, dove's gray earlier. And then I have, I'm sure it comes in probably red and pink. I just don't have those in. Yeah, and they, they said they kind of um, seem like they rotate their colors, like of what's available. So I usually call and say, what do you, what do you have in right yeah. now? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and um, I think that that is a four inch round also. Right? Yeah, yep. 
Okay, and I have a couple other boxes that uh, we that I'll show off. Um, Valerie Needlepoint Gallery just started making these. I think this is four by six. Again, I don't didn't really mean to have a bee theme, but apparently I've got a bee theme going on. Yeah. Um, but this little box is it's kind of like a polished really wood nice. almost. It's not very deep. Like what is like you, it's maybe a half inch deep, so you can't really put a whole lot on the inside but it's really pretty just to sit out because it has a nice finish on it. It's got glass and, you know, self-finishing again. And she's designed a bunch that are the right shape for them. I'm not sure if you'd find that shape in anybody else's line, but. Yeah, that's a cool, that's a cool shape. You know, it's making me think like the catch-all on the tray in our living room has like pens and. <laughs> a like pen would barely fit. I mean, it's really? tiny on the inside. Yeah. Huh. Um, yeah, and then the other thing she does similarly is a coaster, um, kind of oh, with a similar wood finish and glass to protect the. That looks a little bit bigger. Do you, can you estimate? Is that? Um, hold on. I sorry for the stretch. I have a measuring tape here. The opening on this guy, I think, is a four-inch square, but I'm going to double check that. Um, yes, four-inch square. Good. So like I have this little guy that goes in there. That's um, pretty. What, hey, let me see that canvas again. That's pretty. Who's is that? That's Valerie Needlepoint Gallery. So these actually I have in stock, but I am just about to get their trunk show this month. So oh, cool. be lots That's of good. selection so I can show you what they've got when it comes. Good. Um, and then I have a bunch of Sudbury boxes. Um, and I'll just go through them really fast. This is their octagon box that has a four inch round lined in velvet with a mirror. Beautiful. Um, and then these are all kind of variations on the theme. So the Donna, you, I do believe someone was making fun of me the other day because I knew the names of all of these. She's like, I have the Donna box, the Betsy box. I'm like, what's yeah. one? The Donna box, um, just lined in leather. And again, this just pops out and you cut and stuff. Yep. So um, this only comes in the wood grain. There's also a similar wood grain that is a six by six. What I always tell people is keep in mind if you have like a five by five, you can add a border to the ed edge. You know, either, I mean? either like mat from a mat shop or, or I mean a frame shop or fabric. Is that or stitching border. Or stitching. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, I'm there's, doing the lazy way. <laughs> there's a, usually two extra inches on all sides. So you can always add a border to make something fit your piece. So there's four by four and six by six in the wood. And then the one that we sell the most of is the Betsy box. And it's a high gloss black. Pretty. And then there's also a high gloss white. Um, I'm out of stock. They've been closed all summer, but they're reopening shortly. Which um, is why I don't have any in stock because they were they right. were closed. Yeah, so those are all my Sudbury boxes. Um, so five by five for the Betsy's and then four by four and six by six for the wood frame ones. So very good. That's about it. Did we cover it all? I was just thinking there's a couple of other companies out there that we talked about that we don't neither one of us happen to have in stock okay. um, point to point. Um, oh, I have there a couple of their cuff bracelets. Yes, yes. Please. So point to point has a lot of the self finish. And so your local needlepoint shop may have those if that's something that you're interested in. Those are cute. Very cute. Yeah, that's nice. I have heard these are a little more challenging than some other things to self finish. Um, but you know, not do well. She, she has little videos on her website, I think. Yes, I think so. Along with, um, um, there's also a distributor, I think, um, I saw them at market. I, I don't have any in stock, but they're cute. Cheryl and Annie, is that, am I right about that? Yep, I do a lot of her things. And, and there's like, right now, they are sort of like, um, I remember making cookies with my mom and they would have the, like the right. metal cookie cutter. And so they use that to, um, and it's like a shaped piece. Oh, you do have one. Well, this one actually is by Shelly Tribby, but Shelly oh, okay. does a bunch of these. I have some on order, but I am waiting for them to come in. But this is a similar piece. Um, but I yes. think these you cut and you put in, but then you've got to put, do you put felt across the back or something? I honestly, I wish I knew. Um, and that's why I didn't want to really yeah, speak so, on it. because so I just they, And they just attached a hanger. Yeah, cute. Uh, yeah, so that's a self-finish um, option as well. So I think we've covered everybody that we know. But I think more, more and more people are like creating this kind of thing because right. it's just nice to be able to be in control of when you finish something without Yeah, and, and really these the things look just as beautiful, just as professional when they're finished. Sure. Um, and uh, I think it's worth it for sure, especially if you still, you know, 
frankly, what are we, September, beginning of September, there's still plenty of time to stitch. There's just not plenty of time to get into one of the professional finishers. So this is a, all of these are great options, I think, so. I know, it makes me wanna do some more because that was really fun. Just stick that in the box. The instant gratification factor is well, awesome. Well, you know, I think I did this like December 15th or something last year, so. There's still time. There you go. <laughs> okay. okay, well, we should wrap this up, my friend, but. Good. I think we've covered everything though, so that's great. I know, well, good. So well, if, you've hope... watched, if you've enjoyed it, sorry, just telling our viewers that um, if you wouldn't mind when you when this video ends you'll see a subscribe box on YouTube um, the more subscribers we get the better we can kind of get the word out and um, come up with more topics and more um, uh, uh, interviewees and um, so we're kind of doing a interview someone do something interview something do something together so um, we appreciate your feedback too we've gotten great feedback we've gotten some great ideas for um, pod, future podcasts so keep them coming for sure Good, good. Well, nice. fun. I've got some great ideas for this, so I hope everybody else did too. Me too. Thanks for all the all the scoop. Okay. Talk all to right. you soon, my friend. Okay. Bye. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, bye. Bye. Recording. Oh.